Yes, people, we are back for another match review. Chelsea 4, Leicester City 2. And we are through to the cup semi-final. We're through to another day out at Wembley with my heart rate still all over the place. What an insane 90 minutes that was. Like, I've, I, we were on an, uh, at an all-time high in terms of performances. Well, I say all-time high, but one of our better performances of the season to just an absolute mess, to late game management, late subs, but then also effective subs, and we win the game. And like my, my thoughts are all over the place right now, but we're going to try and piece them all together in this video. Big up to everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. All the toxic positive merchants will be like, smile, be happy. Um, would the substitutions worked? and to a point, they did work, but took ages. <laughs> took absolutely ages. We do really need to be quicker with those substitutions. But thankfully, we played a 10-man Leicester. And as soon as they got that red card, all of their attacking impetus left with them. With whoever that brother was who walked off. Because we were getting cooked that second half. We were getting absolutely slow roasted by Leicester City. First half was really good. Really good, like Bar Sterling with one of the worst individual performances that I've ever seen in a Chelsea shirt. That is genuinely in the top 10. Genuinely in the top 10 worst performances I've ever seen from individuals. We, well, we got, we got two goals. We got two goals. We got um, a Sterling assist still. I don't know if you guys saw the watch along. I weren't even celebrating Sterling's assist. I was still fuming at him for missing the 1v1 a minute before that. We could have been 3 or 4 nil up. That, that's, the, that's the more annoying thing because we could have really seen that game off in the first half if it weren't just for Sterling being an absolute mess. And then the second half comes in. We start okay. And then just that, that awful De Sassi back pass. That was terrible. Like, Sanchez's positioning isn't really the best either, but you can't be passing a ball back with that amount of power without looking up and seeing where the goalkeeper's at. Like, come on. That, that is a schoolboy mistake to make. And that's kind of where the game started to turn. That's where I don't blame Poch. Because I do notice with this team that we have this habit of whenever we have a setback, it's just a car crash from there. And as soon as we concede the first goal, we lost all control. We lost all confidence. We're giving the ball away cheaply. We're losing the ball in dangerous positions, conceding a lot of chances. We end up conceding the second one. Um, Gusto gets absolutely done. But I think that starts from a sterling dispossession in the other side of the box too. But it's a great goal by Mabadidi. And as soon as it gets to 2-2, two -two, I'm thinking the way this game is going, we're going out. We're going out. We are at, We are going out. We're bottling it right in front of our eyes. They're going to call us the blue billion pound bottle jobs again. But the red, that's what changed things. Let's not get it twisted. It, it weren't even necessarily the subs. The subs won us the game, but the red lost Leicester the game, in my opinion, because the amount of control that they had in that match, and as soon as they get the red card, they're, they're sitting back. They're trying to absorb pressure. They're staying compact. And I think that's what really cost Leicester City the game. Brilliant move from Nicholas Jackson, who had, an an who had another amazing game. People need to start putting more respect on Jackson's name. Since AFCON, he's been brilliant. He's been brilliant for us. He's been up there with one of our best players on a consistent level. That flick was amazing. The assist, really good. Great wing play from Jackson, as per usual. And that's where the game starts to turn. But the one thing that's annoying me is that the Leicester manager has already made about two free subs by that point. He sees the red, he goes and immediately makes another sub. It takes us till about 80 minutes to make our first sub. And it wasn't Sterling. Like, Sterling should have been off at half time, in all honesty. I would have taken him off after he missed that 1v1. Although, gladly, that's, not, that's also why I'm not a coach, because he got an assist straight after. But I would have taken him off at half time. I would have taken him off at half time for sure. That that was he was by far the worst player on the pitch. By far. But we took Mudrik off. And not even that. We we put Mudrik back on the left. 
at half time. And I was like, why are we doing that? Like he was cooking in the middle in the first half. Why have we changed it? Why have we changed that? But the one thing I will give Poch credit for is the players he brought on were the right players and it impacted the game in the right way. Chilwell comes on, sees out the game. Um, What's it? What's his name? Chuck Umeka obviously comes on. Brilliant link-up play. Brilliant close control dribbling. Two things that Sterling didn't bring. And he got the goal. Um, Madueke came on. Brilliant dribbling. Brilliant finishing. Again, two things Sterling couldn't do. They were the right subs. I, like, Make no mistake, as critical as I am of Pochettino, I am addressing that he brought on the right subs. My problem, too late. Too late. You are very lucky that was a 10-man Leicester City. 11 v 11, we probably would have been 3-2 down by the time you choose to make those subs. So you got to count your, you got to pray to God and say, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because if it weren't for that Reds, we're going out. So let's not get it twisted. In spite of the good individual performances, we completely lost control in the second half and Pochettino did nothing. He did nothing. He just let it happen. He let the manager keep changing things. He let the opposition manager keep bringing on substitutes and we didn't respond. That is worrying, but thankfully, thankfully we won. So it's all good. Shout out Kaiseido again before I wrap up this video. I'm not going to forget your performance. You were excellent yet again. Yet again, our best midfielder, Moises Kaiseido. Block everything in sight. Brilliant passing from him. Brilliant positioning. Can't ask for more. Gusto, bar the second goal, great performance. De Sassi, bar the first goal, great performance. Chalaba, bar one or two mistakes, good performance. Mudrick, great. Jackson, great. Sterling, you stink. You stink. You cannot be starting. Cannot be starting. Pochettino, I do not care if we are playing Burnley at home. Okay? I don't care if we're playing Burnley at home. I need him on the bench. I don't want to do this whole, let's, let's let him get back into confidence and everything against Burnley at home. No! Give Mudrick some minutes. Hell, give one of them, Noni or Chukumeka, some minutes. They both showed why they should be starting. Or at least bring them off the bench a little bit earlier than that. Let them, let them have more time to get into the game. But, aye, we won. We're going to Wembley. Just uh, avoid Liverpool at all costs. That is if they don't get knocked out today because this is being recorded during the Manchester United game. So, hey, we, we shall see, people. We shall see, people. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. And as always, potch out. Up the Chelsea.